Hello and welcome and thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to look at take a look at the latest one of the latest feature and which I'm really excited about is uh, being able to control the field visibility within your screen flow element. What I mean by that is before this um, functionality um, anytime you want to show or hide a certain field that was not possible in the flow and as a workaround you'd have to create one screen flow and then add a decision element yes or no or whatever value it is and then direct the user to the next screen flow and next and so on because there was no way to like put all the fields on the same screen components and um, show or hide based on the values that the users will enter but now it's possible so let's take a look and this is going to be very quick just basic uh, idea on how you can use it and the scenarios can be unlimited it's basically whatever your use case is so create a screen flow and I'm just going to add a screen element here and what I'm going to do is let's say I need I'm just going to keep it very basic name name and email and I'm going to add another pick list and a number field and just say welcome and the name is just name keeping, keeping it very basic email um, number is age and pick list is for me it's uh, two choices yes or no and basically um, it's a healthcare let's assume and if the user is greater than 65 then offer Medicare so would you like Medicare info right and that's the use case um, and we're just gonna add data type text that's fine and I'm just gonna add some choices here Ideally, this would be coming from one of the fields in your object, which you can do right here. So record just choice set. I don't have the object, so I'm just going to directly add here, which is yes. And text yes label and text type. Let's just say it's called it true. Done and add another one. And if you have been using flow for a while, this is pretty basic um, add a choice API name no and I'm gonna say label no text and it's equal to false so that's so that's pretty much we all know about that um, so pick list now basically I want to ask the age of the customer or the user and if the age is greater than or equal to 65, we're gonna ask, would you like Medicare info? And then if they say yes, maybe we populate another field where there's a medical info information, right? So um, on here, because this is the field we wanna hide or show, here's the set component visibility and it's very easy to use. It's basically just like your process builder and you can see always visible conditions are met and you can even add, add logics to it. So maybe one combination of these and this, doesn't necessarily mean you can only use screen fields you can use pretty much any resource right now i don't have any resource in my flow because i just started building the flow so and you cannot access these variables until you save it so let me show you a trick so just save it and then come back to the screen and now if i go to that field and i, I can see Let's say all conditions are met and now I'll see those resources that I created because we, we didn't save it so you have to save it to be able to see those fields and then uh, I'm just gonna say would you like Medicare oh I'm gonna say age greater than equal to 65 we can just enter the number 65 and don't hit done right away you have to click outside once and then hit done because if you just click done directly it's just gonna take it as null and I faced that issue before um, so just a gotcha there hit done and you can see greater than 65 and that's it and obviously you can add validations and all sorts of stuff like normally hit done and add that save it dynamic example 
and I'm not going to activate it. Let's just see how it looks in debug because that's like my first step when I'm, I, I'm building a flow. I usually go to my debug before I activate it because I don't want to save different versions if I don't have to. So hit run and here, as you can see, we don't see that screen yet. So I'm just going to say my name and email. Now, let's say I'm going to say five. Finish. Nothing happens. That next field doesn't show up at all. But now I'm going to change my inputs and run it again. And I'm just going to say 66. And now you should see the other field pop up. So this is really opening a lot of possibilities that we can use in Flow. Um, and based on these answers, you can have another field pop up. So use your imagination or any use cases that you come along, come across while building this. Let me know what your use cases are and I'm happy to make a video on that. Or if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching.